All right, guys, this aspiring new car to Aiden Patterson here, along with another video of an update. Um, so today I was on the Storm Prediction Center, and uh, Storm Prediction Center's IEM bot, which is weather.m slash IEM bot. And today we have a day one convective outlook to look at. So today we have a slight risk out here. I'm going to point out the slight risk first. So there's a slight risk. Which I'm glad about. I'm happy that there's one. Not to be rude, but I do love severe weather. There is a slight risk in Florida and a little bit of Georgia. And it looks like a little bit of coast, coastals of the Carolinas. So it looks like North Carolina and South Carolina could be getting a little st bit of stuff too. But the marginal is in Florida. A little bit in Alabama. A little bit in Georgia and North Carolina and South Carolina. So, And a little bit of coastal waters in Mississippi. In Alabama so we'll zoom in here so that we can see what we can see um, so the area square miles is 50,037 area population is 5,386,247 and if you are in the cities of Jacksonville Florida Tallahassee Florida Savannah Georgia Gainesville Florida or Wilmington North Carolina you guys are under a slight risk which means these thunderstorms that come are, do have the possibility to go severe and produce damaging winds, large hail, and a couple brief tornadoes. So I'd say look out for that. Marginal, we have air square miles of 77,441. Area population is 13,496,895. And cities in that risk are Raleigh, North Carolina, Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida, Orlando, Florida, or more in Mobile, Alabama. If you guys are in, in those cities, you are under a marginal risk, which means these thunderstorms aren't going to be that bad as slight risks, but you should still monitor the latest forecasts and updates on this situation. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I have, and we're going to be taking a look at the receipt. Where's the day three convective outlook? I knew I had that here somewhere. There's day one, day one convective. Let me see. if there's... Day three convective. Day three convective. We have. Uh, I'll zoom it in here. So we have a little bit of a marginal risk in Florida, in Alabama, in Mississippi, in Louisiana, and the coastal waters. And it looks like we have a little bit in Mississippi. Not so much Alabama, but it looks like maybe like near like Pensacola, Florida, it could probably be under the slight risk. But we'll just see what cities we have here. So let's just go ahead and see what we have here. Slight area square miles is 16,203. Area population is 1,758,113. In those cities, in slight risk is Mobile, Alabama, Gulfport, Mississippi, Pensacola, Florida. I'm guessing that's Biloxi, Mississippi, and Ferry Pass, Florida. If you guys are in those cities, you are under a slight risk for day three so that will not be happening until wednesday wednesday is day three so you guys will not be getting severe weather today but you will be getting some on wednesday marginal risk we have area square miles is 42,626 area population is 3,860,216 and those cities in the marginal risk is new orleans louisiana baton rouge louisiana Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Metarine. I'm not sure. Something, something in Louisiana, and either it's Keener or Kenner, Louisiana. I'm not sure. Um, but if you guys are in those cities, you're in for a marginal risk for Wednesday. Not today. Wednesday. Wednesday is day three. This is a day three. I'll zoom in here. See, it's a day three risk. So, which means it's it's uh. It will not be happening today. It's not going to be happening tomorrow. It's, it's going to be happening on Wednesday. So Wednesday will be your severe weather day. So I will just stay tuned about that and see what happens. But anyway, that is it for my update. And there's a lot to talk. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all I have to update. So that will be it.